To view your application releases, select Releases in the navigation bar. Most Bugsnag libraries automatically track when new versions of your applications are released, but you can override or set the app version in your library as needed. The Releases view can be sorted by release date or adoption, and by default will display the most recent releases to your production stage, but you can view releases to different stages by choosing from the drop-down menu. Each release card contains a summary of information about your release, including the app version, version code, and revision number. We recommend keeping your versioning scheme consistent across tools. Beneath the version number, you'll see when this version was released and who released the build. The Release By field should be populated by your build tool integration or set manually via the Build API. If you've integrated with your source control, you can also click directly from Bugsnag to view a diff to the previous release or browse the repo. On the right side of the release card, you'll notice an adoption indicator and a stability score for each version. The adoption indicator displays the percentage of all sessions reported to Bugsnag in the past 24 hours from that version, while the stability score is calculated from the number of all time sessions in that version without an unhandled event. Most Bugsnag libraries are configured to track sessions by default but older versions may require additional configuration. A session is defined differently across platforms. Mobile sessions start when the application enters the foreground, front-end when a page is loaded, and server-side when a request is processed. If you prefer, you can configure your Bugsnag library to manually track sessions based on your own internal definition of what a session is. Session counts are used to calculate the stability scores for each release, which can be used as a definitive metric for app health. The stability score represents the number of successful sessions that didn't end in an unhandled error. The color of the stability score indicates how well this release is performing relative to all releases over the past seven days. You can hover over the score for more information about crashes, sessions, and performance in any given release. Click on any card in the list to view the full details of the release, including the top errors that were seen or introduced, sorted by event counts, and any metadata sent via the build API. Release metadata could include the build parameters, notes about the changes pushed, experiments, code names, or any useful information to have while debugging. The stability scores and version information in Bugsnag will give your engineering team immediate visibility on code quality and help you release new versions of your application with confidence.